Kia ora tefano. welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, I wanted to come on here and talk about our first couple of weeks, um, talk about our transition into the place that we're in at the moment, and then also give a little bit of insight into why the name, um, why the swords, what's that all about? Yeah, basically just give a bit of understanding where we're coming from with everything that we're trying to run here at The Collective. Let's go. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kaz Adams. Um, I am a co-founder of The Collective Training. Me and my partner, Ariana, um, we have been running The Collective since about February this year. Uh, basically, we wanted to create an environment that provides, uh, obviously, like health and fitness and take everyone's kind of fitness and training journey uh, and utilize all the tools that I've learned over the years, that we've learned over the years, and really apply it to everyone out there so they can train like we train, train like the groups that I've trained in the past and really get some benefits from this type of lifestyle. So basically, with that said, we have been uh, doing classes and that from the wee garage that we're in right now, uh, but we've just transitioned out of here and into a larger facility known as the Athlete Factory. Inside of that facility, there are so many different users um, and basically everyone's just in there to try and improve themselves one way or another. You got Foundation Clinic who does all the physio work, uh, you got Gurney who runs the 360 uh, virtual golf, Andy in there. Um, you've also got the cricket kind of group and we've also got Nikki who's been running all of her gymnastics inside the facility too. And we were lucky enough to get on board with them and start running our uh, stuff that provides this type of health and fitness journey to the general population, to, to the everyday user, to the weekend warrior, and to that kind of like athlete person who wants to get a little bit more out of their training and even just get the, get the boat started, get everything going so that they have something uh, to use to improve themselves on their own individual journeys. We've been in the facility for one week now, <laughs> which is so awesome. Uh, we've made it for our first week. It was a hell of a week. There was so many people coming through. I think all up we had over 100 people come through that whole week, which is just amazing for our first week. Uh, and we're into our second week now and things are starting to kind of pan out and even out now We're kind of seeing like who was just there for that free week who's there for the long run and and all of that kind of stuff as well It's been such an epic week though. Uh, I'm finally back to feeling that 4 30 a.m. Start um, I've got a good routine in the mornings now because obviously I'm there for that 5 and 6 a.m. class and then I'm back again for 9.15 a.m. and then we run one more in the afternoon around 5.32 and yeah, I, I'm just loving this whole routine. It's working really well for me now. So basically, a little touch on my routine in the mornings is 4.30 a.m. I get up, I run straight outside, we're into the cold shower, usually brushing my teeth and washing myself in there. What I find is this just kind of gets me invigorated, kind of wakes me up and gets that real sudden jolt through the body. I don't really have any coffee at this time of the morning, but once I've done that, I get my protein shake and I jump in the car after I'm all clothed and ready to go and I head down to the athlete factory and it's real cool. I'm the first one to walk through the doors. I get to turn on all the lights and you know, start the day and that's winning the day for me. Um, so that's my kind of morning routine before 5 a.m. and every day is just so exciting. I think mainly the other thing that adds the excitement to that is the fact that like I've written this programming uh, and I've, I'm going to be trying to deliver it in a way that people can see the purpose of the session and where the benefits lie in that session for themselves, right? Because like say you're someone who's a complete beginner, all the benefits is literally the entirety of the session. You're going to be learning how to move, right? You're going to be doing things that you haven't done before and putting yourself onto a pathway that's going to give you longevity in your training, 
uh, improvements in a very short time frame as well, even though that is not the goal. Uh, and then also, you know, being a part of this whole new community that we are creating. So there's that side of the spectrum. And then the other side is literally people who have trained before, who are just trying to tweak their training, get that 1% difference and just finding those improvements because they've already got the routine, etc. And now they're looking for the next big thing for themselves as an individual. So that's kind of how the sessions run at the moment. And that's why I get so excited because I'm trying to cater to all these different crowds of people. Uh, and I want to make sure that they have a good time while they do it as well. That's what the last week has looked like. I'm full of energy and just trying to make sure that I maintain that energy. Uh, as well as that, um, we are also kind of trying to set ourselves as one of the players, one of the users in the gym as well without stepping on toes, etc. So that's been kind of fun. But look, we're just here to provide this kind of service. Uh, anyways, let's talk about the name. So what we have there is the collective. If you've been to the gym before, you would have seen it now big bold writing across the back room um, and yeah basically we call ourselves the collective because I guess it's like a excerpt <laughs> from a whakatoki so a whakatoki is a Maori proverb which is kind of like um, their way of using sayings to motivate you or keep you disciplined or you know like keep you along the straight and narrow so this whakatoki is and i'll try not to screw it up but it is e hara taku toa i te toa um, taki tahi engari he toa taki tini and basically what that kind of translates to is i am not the success or strength i guess of the individual i am the success of the collective and so that's why we call ourselves the collective because uh, i really loved that fakatoki and i thought it had a lot to say about how being a part of a community is actually the real driver to your successes your strengths and you know whether you see um, the things you want to see or, or not right so that's why we we chose the the name behind it the collective uh, now the swords, what the heck are those about baby? Look we got some on the shirts, um, man. It's been really cool though because now we kind of have this little kind of emblem that's just blooming everywhere and um, I got it on my shirts, I got it on, on some of the pants we got. Um, and basically the swords is about uh, having a mindset. I was using it for a couple of reasons to be honest. One of the reasons is because I really like to have association between um, like your business or whatever you do and like an image of some kind, you know, like Adidas got their three stripes, Nike's got their tick and, and whatnot. Um, but that was part of the reason. And so I wanted some, some kind of emblem that I haven't really seen too much before. Um, and so the swords was that for me. So one, you got the swords uh, for that kind of reason. Then two, the other reason was because I wanted to try and utilize that as a mindset or understanding that this is the frame of mind we want to be in when it comes to trying to achieve small things trying to achieve big things and the idea behind the swords is swords are usually used for attacking right so um, they made that for that purpose was you know we're going to attack with these things and I want people to apply that to their mental. So I really want the mindset to be we are in an attacking mindset in everything that we do. So I'm always striving for excellence because I'm always attacking, I'm always going forward. I never take a step back on the things that I do. Sure, I might be, uh, you know, holstered. <laughs> I don't know, what do they go on, a sheath or something? Like I might be um, stationary sometimes, I might be not moving, you know, when it's sitting on your side. But when I come back out again, I'm heading forward again. I'm always in that stepping forward motion mentally. And, and I really want people to try and adapt this type of mindset because I just think it's gonna be so beneficial if you can always have that mindset of, you know, like say I get an injury, uh, I'm gonna have a new pathway, sure, but I'm still in that attacking mindset of what can I do? How can I do it better every single week? Um, and then the same thing with just your general goals, like if I want to lose weight, if I want to gain strength, I've got to make sure that I'm constantly attacking, being mindful of what the, what the things are that I'm going to be attacking 
attacking my morning routines, attacking this nutrition, attacking uh, my uh, training routine, and making sure that you know I always have that mindset of going forward. So. That's kind of the gist of it, of, of like all the representation of the things that we're doing at the moment and, and where they kind of fit in along the way. So yeah, I guess the collective, you know, TCT sounds kind of cool as well. Um, and you know, like the swords look really cool on things. Um, Watching, you got some swords in there, but at the end of the day, it's all about what does it represent to us and how does that fit in with the community that we are trying to create and that's the way that we're going to do it anyways guys i just wanted to come on here to do a really quick spiel about everything that we're doing um all of the different things that we represent and the community community that we're trying to build at the moment thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe uh if you don't know already you can actually see us over on instagram we can talk to you a little easier i don't really know how to run things on youtube other than put the video up but if you need to chat with us you can go on there and dm us ask us any questions about your health and fitness journey or what we have to offer uh, and also if you've made it this far in the video and you're a long-term person you know what to do baby drop that sword down there in the comments below thank you so much for your support for my tct warriors Let's go.